Hey there, everybody. Welcome back with the Plapper Platypus is the name. Let me turn that down just a tad. There we go. Um, welcome back. A little bit of a weird video today. Basically, I'm going to be talking about Mercenaries. What the heck is Mercenaries? It's a brand new game mode. Came out just six months ago, so you may not have heard about it. But honestly, I don't know if a lot of people do know about it. We are currently in the Hearthstone client. So if you've heard of Hearthstone, you, most of you probably have. There are multiple game modes. Mercenaries would be the newest of the game modes. It's not exactly new anymore, but I kind of, I've been playing it a bit. I've kind of, when it first came out, I played it a tiny bit, but other things were coming out. And now I'm kind of in a, a game lull a little bit after beating Elden Ring. So I was looking for things to come back to. And honestly, I've been having a good time. Figured I would just go into it. <clears throat> now, really quick, this is a free to play game. But one thing you're going to be aware of going in is that it will be very, very grindy if you intend to go and collect everything, basically. So what you're going to do, we'll get into the actual gameplay and stuff. I just want to get the, the basics out of the way, the structure of the ecosystem. <clears throat> Basically, you're going to collect mercenaries that are, that are cards. You click on them. You can level up their abilities. They go from level 1 to level 30, and they have a couple pieces of equipment that each will, you know, alter a stat. These are, apparently, they get a lot more advanced. I don't really have that much. Again, I've just been mostly dabbling, but I've been having a good time. It felt like making a video. Um, and so you can see I don't have anywhere close to a complete account, let alone even level 30s. But it takes a lot of grinding, all right? <clears throat> that Just get that out of the way. What you're going to you're going to want to play this mostly for the PVE experience early on. And then once you get a team, you'll probably start messing around with PVP a little bit. But <clears throat> yeah, so you're going to collect these guys. It is free to play. You will be you can grind. These guys level up with coins and you can gather coins from fighting in specific levels uh, to get it. It's a slow, long process. You can also spend money. I spent about 20 bucks on the game total, I think um, you could use your Hearthstone, you know, normal gold to buy packs. 100 gold a pack just like normal i think that's a little bit of a ripoff honestly but um it's not like disgustingly bad i just don't think it's very good the the value proposition mostly the bundles are pretty good like 10 bucks 10 packs isn't like that bad right a random portrait whatever like i think that's okay but you're not gonna max out your account by spending money if i'm to understand from people that have maxed out accounts like you'd have to spend thousands thousands and thousands of thousands of dollars to try to max out an account and even then you're not guaranteed to get shit that you want it's very good spending money is very good if you're in the early to mid game it'll get you a lot of mercenaries so you can kind of mess around and see what you like it'll give you access to a lot of stuff you won't get close to maxing stuff out but it'll give you a lot of options early on so it is you get a the rate on your return diminishes very very quickly but it is i think pretty high right at the start like your first 20 bucks is very fun because you get like twice the mercenaries starting off <clears throat> and then as you get more further into the game it basically gets worse um so what there's basically two main modes here there's pve and pvp now pvp you're free to access at any time pretty much i mean you might have to get through a little bit of pve first but it, it, it's kind of locked off behind pve in a sense um so hopefully you like the pve i actually Sorry, I got the hiccups all of a sudden. <clears throat> I really do like the PvE, honestly. Um, but it can be a little grindy sometimes, and sometimes you want to mix it up with PvP. The thing is, because you want units that are strong enough to actually go in, you know, to PvP. You're, if you're going to go on with, like, level 15s with level 1 abilities, right, you're not going to... You're just going to get slapped. It's, it's, really, it's going to take probably forever to find a match, and then you're going to get slapped. So in order to get units up to a level that they can compete in PvP, especially now that the game's been out for six months, it's going to take you some time. Um, especially to get a full six. And then especially if you want to use anything besides those six, it's going to take time. So I'll go through a PVP match and a PVE match um, just to kind of show you what the game's mechanics are like. And I think you guys honestly might have a good time with it. We're not going to go anything hard. Uh, we'll just go something simple just so I can be overpowered. But you can see as you go through the game, you'll start with the very early, the Barons. You'll start at level one and then it'll kind of guide you up until you can go through and you can get characters at level 30 and we'll go on through here if you have a few high level characters a few level level characters but once you get to a point they're all going to be level 30 and they're all actually just more like fights with interesting mechanics they don't necessarily get harder strictly but they all have like fun interesting mechanics so i actually really like this the puzzle solving aspect of this is quite fun for the first time maybe the second time especially heroic right where the the mechanics of the fight get more complex the issue is it could be kind of annoying to 
to get the unit. If you get to a thing, you're like, oh, I need a mechanic that interacts with this guy. He heals every time, you know, he gets hit. So I need, maybe I want something that can block healing, but my guy that blocks healing isn't level, you know, he's like level four. So I got to grind him up. So there's definitely aspects of it that could be kind of annoying, but overall, I've been having a good time. Let's just go into and show you the basic structure. I suspect this will be very easy for us. Um, so you're gonna, I don't like the word slay the spire. I think it's a terrible comparison, but you do have a, you know, a path you get to choose down here. The only ones that are, so all these are all fights. All these circles are fights. The circles with these little scales on them or whatever, these are epic fights. So they're going to be harder. They will give you better, right? They say better experience and treasure the experience in terms of leveling up units. Once you hit level 30, you don't care about that at all. So you're really just going here for the better treasure. And even then these fights are significantly harder and it, your units all have permit death in terms of this run, right? Once the runs over, your units aren't dead. You still have them, but uh, if you lose a guy right here, he will die and you won't have them un until after you beat the boss or you go to like a spirit healer, which I'm not even sure there is one. Um, but then other than the elite fights, there are these, which are boons. Boons, this happens to be fighters. These boons, there's three main types of units, you know, red, green, blue. Uh, red is protectors, green is fighters, blue is casters. And um, the boons will affect all of, like this will affect all green units, all fighters on both you and the enemy team. So if you have a very, very heavy green team, that's pretty good, uh, but you might want to avoid fighting, you know, green enemies. Um, and this is kind of mystery. This is going to be the one of the ways you get, you grind basically, but I'm just going to go in and show you the basic mechanics. Why am I doing like a kind of like, what the heck is six months in? Honestly, I can't tell you. I just wanted to make a video. I've been having fun with this. And part of having a YouTube channel is doing things that you find fun. And so hopefully this resonates with someone or someone that didn't know about the game uh, gets to hear it. But this is going to be the basic layout in a PVE scenario. It's going to be similar to PVP, but uh, there, there are some key differences here. So you have a team of six units in your quote unquote deck, you know, your band of mercenaries, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm just going to go with one that you guys will all see very, very early on in the game. Very likely. Millhouse Mana Storm. Uh, Whisperwind here. And Cariel Realm. This is probably... I think these might be the first three units you get. Something like that. They're, they're up there. Um, and I actually think they're pretty good. Now, apparently, they, they've probably been power crept a fuck ton in terms of new releases. But you pick your three units. I do like that it's a green, a blue, and a red you know whatever it's not that big of a deal but then yeah you're gonna pick just every character has three abilities and sometimes they even have passives on top of that but and the abilities get more and more complex obviously um usually as things goes on like this is damage this is damage but also makes all your other damage better and this is something that shoots three missiles at random so it's a lot of damage and it's a little more random and so all these characters are gonna have abilities and a cool thing like this is what the only reason i could think slay the spire what i'm saying this is because you could see the enemy's intent, right? And a lot of games have done this since then, but on the uh, PVE, you can see enemy's intent. I can see at a speed of four, the lower the number, the faster it is. So zero is theoretically the fastest and uh, you know, one and then nine is probably the slowest. Maybe things can get slower with modifiers, I assume, but I haven't seen anything base level slower than nine. <clears throat> but yeah, he's going to attack an enemy. If that enemy hasn't acted yet, summon, uh, summon something. So if we have anything, Fat. He's going to target something. We don't know what, but if we can go faster than him, um, and in fact, this is perfect, right? So I have a one speed, which is super fast. They taunt. So this guy is going to attack him and he's not going to get to summon his thing, right? Because this unit will have acted. It will have taunted up. So this guy is only going to attack and he's going to probably get himself pretty much killed. But these are, these are an easier encounter just to kind of show. So, so then you pick what you want to do. Let's say, okay, I want to do this and do this, but let's say hypothetically, um, you know, I'll, I'll show you next turn. I'll show you next turn. So then you hit fight and things are just going to play out in a exactly, you know, predictable order in PVE. So PVE is much more like a puzzle, you know, and like that worked out again. Th this is this is semi tutorial zone still, but I don't want to I don't want to struggle. I don't want to lose. All right. I lose plenty. All right. I, I don't need help here. Um, after you do this, you can get treasures, which are pretty good. You know, we'll just take three less damage is pretty sick. All right. So we'll pick, um, something a little different here just to kind of further go into the mechanics a little bit, and then I'll jump out and I'll just do a PVP match. Um, plus I think you need to do two matches in order to get rewards, something like that. But after you complete this, oh, we'll, we'll get there. Okay. 
So let's just pick um you, you, and you. All right. So I actually quite like uh, Vard in here. He's basically an ice guy, but so okay. So here's an important thing, right? This guy has a speed of five. This guy has a speed of five. So whatever one you queue up first. So if I hit this and then I hit this, it is always for me going to go this unit before this unit. Okay. It You choose the order. It doesn't really signify it well, I don't think, but that's just the way the mechanic works. And then if I do the opposite, I select this one and then I select this one. Then this one will go first and then this one will go first. And if you tie with an enemy, which in this case we don't, if you, an enemy also has five, um, then it becomes random, which the order goes. So if you have a, a unit you really want to go first, like let's say you pick two units that are at five and they have one that's at five. Um, if you just had one at five, they had one at five. It's a 50 50 to see which goes first, right? I'm pretty sure the way it works is if you have two units at five and they have one at five, you actually have a 66% chance to go first because you have a double chance to roll. It may be, maybe it's still 50 50, but because there's three units going at the same speed and one of your units is guaranteed to go first, I think that gives your unit a 66% chance to go first. Now, I may be wrong on that, um, but. Basically, you do get, if the speeds line up, you get to kind of pick whatever you want. So that's a very, ordering is incredibly important, especially when it comes to synergy and things like that. What the fuck? That sounded like a glitch. It was so loud. I guess I'm going to turn that down even more. Holy shit. All right. So after you do these things, you know, you get, you don't get any uh, long-term rewards. You'll get like treasures or whatever. Um, and then you'll go through, defeat the boss and get a chest. You could also leave before you get the chest and you'll just get, shitty versions of the rewards but you can see we get some coins these coins are again how you level up the units and things like that so let's go into pvp see how that works you can see i'm rating 1500 that's actually the highest rating in the game if you don't scroll down uh it goes up to uh only 10 times what i have is when the rewards stop and i believe there is no cap i think there's some someone with like 30,000 or something like that so uh, this is probably not an amazing pvp team but you know what one of the downsides of the game is that this is the only team I really got that with leveled up abilities. Like I have some other level 30s, but their abilities aren't leveled up, right? So their abilities are going to be doing half as much damage. So PvP is a little bit, it, it, it's really fun, but it is kind of behind this wall. I won't call it a paywall because honestly, you can't level up enough units with money. I don't feel like to, to really get past that quote unquote paywall. I think it's definitely more of a time wall. It's almost, it's like time gated content where unless you're in unless you play for 10 hours you know you're not going to have enough units and then my least favorite thing about how the game works honestly is that if i get a new unit i'm like this unit looks cool i like these abilities in order for me to get that unit up to level 30 with their abilities up to level three i i would say level three is kind of where you need to be to even jump into pvp you want five but that's so much harder three is kind of where you get like 75 to 80 percent of the power i believe um, it, it's, it's, it's time consuming, you know, um, you, in that situation, you might be able to just buy some coins or something like that. Like if a new Merc comes out, maybe it's 10 bucks to get the Merc and stuff like that. I don't, I don't honestly, I've spent like 20 bucks on release. I haven't really felt the need to spend more money. Um, mostly because I don't feel like the money will help me bypass the stuff that I, that I, that I'm because I'm not really struggling with anything. It's more just like, it's just a time commitment. Like I just have a lot of content to go through still. Spending money won't necessarily make that content more fun or even easier. Um, it would just make PVP potentially more accessible. Okay, so I'm gonna go with what I would, which used to be a cheese like opener, like insanely OP, which I think is garbage now, but something I like. The classic three. So these two are hyper synergistic together. Now maybe, I mean, I've been doing pretty good with them on PvP, but I think it's mostly because people aren't expecting this uh, old stuff. Whenever a friendly character is healed, gain three health. Passive friendly elementals have plus 20 health. Okay, so this is one downside, but it also... It, it, so I think it's an artificial difficulty, but it is a difficulty. I don't know what these units do. Straight up. I have no idea what their speeds are, so we're just going to kind of go and hope for our best. So basically, this guy has a unit, a speed of three, which is super fast, deals damage to a unit, but most importantly, lowers their attack. Now, I have a speed of four, which is one slower, but it's still very fast. Attack an enemy, and if it was damaged this turn, which your other ability that I use does, you attack it again. 
and when you attack you take recoil damage right so normally i would take 16 damage but this sets his attack to zero so if we taunt up we hit here brings their attack down to zero and now you're just gonna smack the shit out of this guy right like now he's down to 12 already and you're going to heal this guy you are going to heal this guy and you are going to i kind of like the idea of whatever character is healed i don't know this won't do enough this will do 16 damage because if you heal him that won't be enough so we're gonna send this at him to not take any recoil damage but to still hopefully get some juice because if we tried to attack him i don't think it would work but if we summon i think this might be able to get through it doesn't okay it does the taunt does force it okay so here's what we're gonna you're gonna attack this guy you're going to attack this guy and you are going to attack this guy too the taunt is pretty rough for this guy but i think it's i think it's gonna function just fine boom dead he doesn't get a second attack because the enemy is dead i don't know what this is but that whatever that was obviously just fucked me up pretty bad i think i kind of want to get you down so the taunt protected this guy i don't know what the fuck this is apparently this guy's insane because he just hit me for a fuck ton of damage but like these are mostly units i haven't seen yeah, I like, I actually have Tyrion. I haven't seen that skin, but I do quite like him. I'm just going to slow them all down, hopefully. So if this guy dies, I could bring in um, Millhouse and get some damage in. Ouch. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm toast here. I don't think I really have a chance this guy has uh, been insane so is this guy like i can't kill this guy i don't know i but again i have no idea what his abilities are like genuinely no idea you got to get the merc damage i think you just need to heal and i think you just keep try to keep him slowed down to keep millhouse alive okay arcane damage plus seven Maybe that that attack seems super RNG. It looks like it's just hitting randomly. Um, I mean, you got to attack with that. I guess just keep slowing him down. I, I this guy doesn't really do much on his own. He needs a something else to freeze, and then he starts doing pretty good stuff. But I do still like him from a support aspect. Oh, interesting! Freezing that guy is pretty nice. 42 damage smack him again oh baby all right so we're down to our last three he still has a he's a full merc up on us but i mean we're looking pretty good on the board i think this guy is frozen still let's see what happens when the turn starts <clears throat> yeah he's still frozen that's super good okay pretty awesome you're going to heal how fast is that that's a six And then I want this to go first, so I'm going to redo that order. So let's try this out. Six is pretty slow, and this guy's not slowed down at all. Oh, but we're faster. Nice. Okay, smack him. 38 damage. Plus seven damage, by the way, so plus 14. Is that enough to get the kill? 52, yep. Awesome. All right, that's pretty sick. We're just going to try to keep healing Millhouse. Millhouse is currently plus uh, 21 arcane damage. So we're trying to make that work. All he's got is this, but it is 29 damage to all enemies. You heal and you do 27 damage to two enemies. Millhouse is very fast with his arcane explosion, thankfully. Boom. Probably should have done the other. Oh, it added 54 because he's green and that was blue. We ended up coming around. We got the Millhouse and plus 300 rank. Let's go. Honestly, I mean, I have a lot of fun with the PvP mode. It's a really good time. Um, and then, you know, every few wins, you get some stuff, more coins. I mean, it, it's like it feels good until you're like, oh, I need like 600 to get one skill up or something like that. Like it starts pretty low, but 
it feels like it scales pretty fast. And I'll get my next reward at 25 coins, so 100 coins total. And, I mean, it's not that hard to grind up to get past this, honestly. I don't know how high we can go, but, um, you know, I've done, like, eight matches. Out of those eight matches, I've won probably half of them, right? Um, and I'm at 1,800, so it, it, it seems to be more generous than it isn't. But yeah, that's basically the mode. I had a, I have a lot of fun with this mode. I don't know if I'm going to make more videos on this or not, but I kind of want to just encourage people to show people that it's fun and that I recommend just like checking it out. Free to play Hearthstone. It's on your phones. It's on your computer. You know, Hearthstone's everywhere. So anywhere you have that client, it is going to be here as well. Um, and if you're not, if you're just looking for something to play while, you know, on the toilet, this could be something that's just like really fun to casually grind up in your free time. It doesn't feel like the kind of game that's going to ask a lot of money from you, or sorry, it's going to ask for a lot of money, but doesn't, I don't think it requires a lot of money to get the most out of it. I do think it requires a lot of time if you want to get the most out of it. Um, but overall, I would say this mode is fun and it's got much more positive than negatives. But anyway, guys, that's it for the plat. I'll see you next time. Have a good rest of your whatever. Bye.